what's going on YouTube fam I already know your boy is back it's been a minute so you already know Q50 under the knife getting some work done so this is what we got I mean what's been going on really um, you know um, I got the ethanol kit we got it tuned uh, race box go race box that's Alex got this thing dialed in feels pretty good we got the E30 tune done and everything complete. But, um, so I got a little bit annoyed, man. We just like mixing, you know, E30, whatever. So, you know, you don't got to get it precise. You got to mix a certain amount of uh, 93 with E. So I'm like, eh, can't deal with all that. I just want to be able to just go put gas in there and, you know what I'm saying, not worry about it. So we got to found a used high pressure um, stage one AMS pump on eBay. So hopefully this works out for me. <laughs> We got Z1, I'm kind of building my own. Yeah guys, if you want to make kind of make your own intake setup too. I know you, you got three inch intakes out there. They can be a little bit, you know, pricey. But, so what I went and did was, you know, save myself a uh, hundred and something dollars. You know, got the burger inlets. So they're like a hundred and nine, the Z1. You could even get cheaper filters too. These filters both were 120. And um, so that's about 200 and these, math housing three inch math housing were like 60 something dollars so you know about 260 under 300 to kind of make your own quote unquote you know three inch three inch intake so that's what we're getting into got a pride diff brace i'm gonna throw on there too so getting some stuff done to the to the q50 you know what i mean yeah so that's what we're gonna get into i'm gonna take this intake out real quick I don't have much time here today. It's my off day and I'm at work, so. Let's see if I can set this up here, hopefully it doesn't fall. And we're gonna get this taken out.
problem is this uh, the Burger Motorsports section right here I think it's more like 275 instead of 3 inch so I'm going to have a problem trying to stretch these to get it over the actual math housing so yeah
So right now, um, this muff housing is a bit, it's a bit tall or long. <clears throat> so I want to be able to put my um, my coal back on. So I may have to just like cut this pipe in a little bit shorter so the air filter can go down a little bit more than there, more on it and give me enough uh, clearance. Shouldn't be too bad. Let me figure out how I'm gonna cut these, uh, cut these things. We'll be back. So this, <clears throat> this is what we, um, this is what we end up with. So we had to, we cut this pipe, cut about a half of an inch off of it, so the filter can go down further. Also trimmed the end of the um, Burger Motorsport intake, which is fine. And one more set of trimming. We just kind of cut off the edge at the top section of the box right there so now this side I've test fitted it what the thing is the Z1 filters are a bit tall you can find shorter filters but I just wanted I wanted to get this one or um, so yeah maybe this was a 7.25 tall inch filter so a filter in the five and a half uh, five and a half below six or six inch length overall length should be the, the right size either way you may do what you have so we're gonna get this intake going I'm, I'm, I'm set on this side the passenger side so then I'll just trim do some more cutting of the pipe and uh, and the uh, BMS inlets on the driver side and we should be good so yeah we're gonna get this bolted in there get this going and then do the other side and I'll show you the finished product so uh, and the result we got the intakes in there little tight fit I'm not gonna lie to you I had to do a lot of little trimming on the on the uh, on the boot on the inlets down there the BMS inlets I had to cut them like shorter you know so this could um because like I said the Z1 filters are, are taller I feel like it's taller than what you should use with that but I just like, you know, I made it work. High pressure pump in there. You know, we're ready for full E. So, and that's another thing too. That's a used, used pump I got on eBay for $400. It works. So, it works. That's all we need. Still have the, um, still have the diff support to put on. I'm about to do that now. And get out of here I'm not gonna lie this thing took me way longer <laughs> I'm glad the funny thing is I had planned to do this at home in the garage I'm glad I didn't because I would have been stuck here I had to trim a lot of stuff cut but you know save me save me in some cases 
couple hundred dollars, you know, doing nothing my own self. And see, I flashed the, I flashed the tune. I just flashed the tune for a new, um, uh, for for the three inch intake, and car is running fine. So now it's just um, to get it dialed in again on 93, then back to 85, and that's gonna be. I'm not. I'm not gonna touch this car no more. So. <laughs> I just wanted to be able to do a 10 and I think with good traction and, and this setup for E, I should be able to get a 10 out of it. So, here it is. Let's go. Mamba Jr. getting it in. Working. <laughs> 